Hello everyone. Our wine this week is a particular green and blue favourite, although it's not a favourite of, of absolutely everyone because it is kind of weird. Um, we're tasting the Olivier Cousin Rollo this week. Olivier Cousin is a winemaker who works in Touraine in the Loire Valley in France. So that's a fairly northerly region where they tend to make kind of zippy, fresh, not very full-bodied reds and whites. Whites from Sauvignon Blanc and reds mainly from Gamay actually, which is of course the Beaujolais grape variety. Um, he makes a lot of more mainstream wines, well not a lot, he only has 12 hectares so he's not a big producer. Um, but most of his range is kind of barely mainstream. But as well as being biodynamic and being terribly natural in the winery, so he doesn't filter and he doesn't fine, which means all the chunks are left in. Um, he also only uses natural yeast and only a tiny pinch of sulphur. He is trying to resurrect the fortunes of a grape variety called Grollo. Now, Grollo is something that is best known as a grape used for rosé. It yields very highly, so producers for a long time liked it quite a lot because they could get a lot of grapes out of it. But pushing the yields meant that what they got was thin, acidic, wishy-washy, utterly forgettable at best, or really quite rough at worst. Um, and everyone came to the conclusion that Grollo was a bit of a waste of time. Mr. Cousin, though, through growing biodynamically and cutting his yields right down, is now making wine that, you know, you might love it or hate it, but you'd never call this wishy-washy, um, is fabulously intense, really extremely earthy and fruity, but in a very different way. The fruit that I get of this, as well as a kind of nice blackberry, is often apples, red apples, braben sort of apples, which, you know, is not, not a tasting note you normally associate with red wine at all, but it's kind of got to do with the, the slightly feral quality of this wine, because there is a really kind of wild edge, some spice and, and a bit of licorice maybe, although there's no oak in this at all. Um, we really do find that people love or hate this, and thankfully most love. Food, I would have this with probably heavier meats, duck, lamb, um, and actually I think summertime it could work for barbecues because it's definitely something that you can chill, in fact it tastes better slightly chilled, um, having the garden with some barbecued meat, perfect, cheers.